Hello world my name is Abhinav Tonk and you're watching RD for Fitness and today we are going to discuss about the rhomboid muscles and the workout videos for rhomboid muscles so whatever muscles we have discussed in the anatomy of back muscles video are the muscles that appear on the superficial level so superficial level means on the surface level which you can directly see from your eyes we have already seen the trapezius muscles that it lies on the upper back and also in the middle back portion so the rhomboid muscles which we are talking lies one layer beneath the trapezius muscle so if you'll remove the trapezius muscle then you will be able to see the rhomboid muscles now the rhomboid muscle is derived from the word rhomboid rhomboid is a geometrical shape which possesses the following properties first is that opposite sides are parallel and equal second is that adjacent sides are unequal and the third one is that the internal angle between two sides are not right angle so the word rhomboid in rhomboid muscles is derived from this geometrical shape so the rhomboid originates from spinous process of vertebrae t2 to t5 and it inserts into the medial border of the scapula scapula is nothing but the shoulder blade the main function of the rhomboid is its participation in the movement of the scapula now rhomboid muscle is divided into two category first one is rhomboid minor and the second one is rhomboid major a lot of you might be thinking that if rhomboid lies beneath the trapezius and is not visible on the superficial level then what is the importance of developing the rhomboid muscles so the main importance of developing the rhomboid muscle is that if you are having a good development of rhomboid muscles then your upper back looks thick and bulky so if you want your upper back to be very thick and bulky then you must train your rhomboid rhomboid muscles one of the main point that you have to remember while doing the rhomboid exercises is that when you are bringing back the weight towards your body then in that case you have to fully squeeze and you should give full contraction to your rhomboid muscle giving full contraction to rhomboid muscle also means giving the full contraction to your upper back as soon as you'll squeeze and give full contraction to your upper back it will automatically engage your rhomboid muscles now let me show you the anatomy of rhomboid muscles in a short explanation video and then we will quickly start our workout session for rhomboid muscles have a look so rhomboid is basically the group of muscles that lies under the trapezius muscles so this portion shown here is the trapezius muscle this particular portion this is trapezius muscle so this is present on the superficial level but if we go one layer deep then beneath the the muscle we will find the rhomboid muscle so before discussing the rhomboid muscle we'll see what's the significance of the word rhomboid if you are aware about the geometrical shapes then you might have heard about the rhombus So, so rhombus is basically a parallelogram parallelogram means whose opposite sides are parallel and all of its sides are equal so if this is side 1 this is side 2 this is side 3 and this is side 4 so 1 and 3 are parallel to each other and 2 and 4 are parallel to each other and 1 2 3 4 all the sides will be equal here so this is known as rhombus and rhombus with right angles that is 90 degree angles is known as square so this is about rhombus now in rhomboid so rhomboid is also a parallelogram but its adjacent sides are not equal so 1 and 2 are not equal 3 and 2 are not equal 4 and 3 are not equal and 4 and 1 are not equal so this is the difference between rhombus and rhomboid so the term rhomboid for the rhomboid muscle is basically derived from this geometrical shape only this particular shape of muscles shown here so this is a rhomboid shape muscle and smaller muscle group above it is also a rhomboid shape muscle these both are known as rhomboid muscles and this particular larger portion this is known as rhomboid major and the smaller portion above it this particular portion this is rhomboid minor so now whatever exercise we are going to see will basically target the rhomboid muscles first exercise is lying front raise thumbs up so this is for warm up and stretching here you have to lie straight on your abdomen with both hand extended forward and raise your hands upward and squeeze your rhomboids you can use lightweight dumbbells also in this exercise and you have to focus on your rhomboids and keep them tight during the whole range of motion and you have to implement rdd of breathing technique second one is seated on knees backward thumbs up so this is also for warm up and stretching here you have to sit on your knees and keep your back straight and raise your back uh, above in the little forward direction as you can see in the video and move them backwards behind your head by squeezing your rhomboids 
and you have to focus on your rhomboids and keep them tight during the whole range of motion and you have to implement RED or breathing technique. Next exercise is bent over hammer dumbbell row. Here you have to bend over in forward direction and keep your back straight and hold the dumbbell in hammer position and try to keep the back parallel to the floor as much as you can and row the dumbbells in the plane of rhomboids and focus on your rhomboids and keep them tight during the whole range of motion. Next one is inclined bench hammer dumbbell row. So here you have to lie on inclined bench uh, by facing downwards and you have to keep the angle of inclination of the bench at around 45 degree and row the dumbbells in the plane of your rhomboids and focus on your rhomboids and keep them tight during the whole range of motion so this is a common point across all the exercises next one is standing pulley row with rope so here you have to adjust the pulley so that the cable and the holding row are in the plane of rhomboids and start rowing in the plane of your rhomboids and squeeze them nicely when you bring back the rope towards your body and again focus on your rhomboids and keep them tight during the whole range of motion next one is seated pulley row with rope so this is same as the previous exercise here you have to sit on bench and keep your back straight and you have to adjust the pulley so that the cable and the holding ro rope are in the plane of rhomboids and again here you have to start rowing in the plane of rhomboids and squeeze them nicely when you bring back the rope towards your body next one is machine row so here uh, you have to adjust the machine so that the holding handles are in the plane of the rhomboids and then sit on the machine bench and keep your back straight and start rowing in the plane of your rhomboids and squeeze them nicely when you bring back the handles towards your body and uh, implement RED or breathing technique 